big event in, in Perth, obviously, and as they are in South Australia, and preparing to play the West Coast Eagles on Sunday in front of a, a full, full house, and you know, both fans' bases roaring away. You now he's got a group that have got a good blend of maturity and youth. Um, you know, I think he's got an exciting team, and uh, we know they're going to be disciplined and well drilled and uh, a real tough opponent. They're a formidable opponent, um, but you know, so so early, it's formative, and everyone's trying to make their way. And you know, I think they find themselves in a good spot. We take responsibility of developing all our players on our list to achieve the absolute best they can in their football. So when players get injured, you should have confidence that uh, the players on your, in your group um, can step up, understand their role, and be able to contribute to the team. Would you say friends? <laughs> what defines a friend? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you agree? Yeah, the difference. Yeah. 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 Two killers. <laughs> Two killers. Worst yeah. old and Lion. Uh, worst old would kill people. So did Lion. Lion would have loved to have played in those uh, derby games. Be careful not to talk it up too much on the eve of the game, essentially. But in the pre-season, he said, if it's Fremantle or West Coast playing any other club, we'll support the WA team. But when it comes to the derby, it's on. Mm. As you can imagine what it's like behind closed doors for the club that has been the, the poor relation, I suppose, in the yep. state the whole way through, despite the moments of success that they've had in derbies, I just sort of feel like it would reside in the soul of Ross Lyon yeah. even more so than the predecessors here. Yeah, yeah, it, it would. But there's one other... Th oh, look at that. Christ almighty. <laughs> Have a look at that for a hit. One thing, and these are great highlights, and it does become quite a fierce game, but what's more important for Fremantle at the moment is the rubbish that they dished up against Hawthorne at Launceston last week. And again, and I know we all have to talk about footy, but whatever Ross Lyon says and the players say this week about the derby and, oh, it's tough and rough, and that's fine, you can say whatever you like. But from the performance last week when they got annihilated at Launceston and people think you're a finals contender, Fremantle actually have to get some pride back this week. They might be lucky that it's a derby and it might be able to bring up some motivation and emotion and all that sort of stuff in them. But talk's cheap, Jared, for the second time tonight. <laughs> Talk is cheap. They must perform. I hope all the players are feeling it like you're feeling it tonight. Worse, it's like you were sort of burst out the door and get into it. Well, it's Thursday night. It's footy night. <laughs> You've pulled up just a little early. We've still got about 40 minutes to no, go. Right just... Stay with me. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm never not with you. Did you wink at me Are then? we friends? <laughs> <laughs> if the you lads ask to be friends, we are How friends. Would you? Just I'm con just convincing them. I just think that a lot of fans out there, round eight, round nine, round ten of every season, we start separating the crap from the good teams. The ones who can't make it, the ones who are going to stay down there, and the ones who are going to challenge. And right now, we've got Fremantle, we've got North Melbourne, and we've got Carlton being challenged, and we've got Melbourne in 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 whatever you want to call it, they're in it. So we're coming to the time now where seasons are starting to get defined. And this week, last weekend was a huge weekend, and this weekend is enormous. Because if Fremantle go bashed here, I think they're out of contention.